Hi, this is Dr. Darwin, the new dentist coach with another episode of This Week in Dentistry. This Week in Dentistry. Today we're going to be talking about a big, big announcement that uh, the Joint Commission on the National Dental Exam has made about a new board, a new dental board that's going to take effect in 2020. So this new dental board that's going to take place in 2020 has been in existence or actually been uh, in development for a long time. We're close to 10 years, almost 10 years, they've been talking about this integrated national dental board exam. And guess what, guys? After 10 years uh, of development, of working hard, a lot of committees, some joint committees, and a lot of people that have dedicated some, a lot of time and a lot of effort, guess what? It's going to be launched in, in 2020, I'm sitting here looking at an email that I got today from the Joint Commission of National Dental Board Exam, and what they are, um, what they've launched is a memo uh, to all the stakeholders and communities of interest, and it's basically a notice stating that the integrated National Dental Board Exam has been implemented. And the old board exam is going to be discontinued. Now, there's a lot of details about it, and, and I'm just going to go over those real quick because, again, this is a big announcement for not only dental students, especially the ones that are getting into dental school right now. Those of you that are going to be entering the class, uh, entering in 2018 and going to be into the class of 2022, this is going to affect you because in about two years, you're going to be taking this this new board exam that's coming out and all the subsequent classes and uh, class of 2023, 2024, et cetera, all of you are going to be involved in this new board exam. And if you guys have questions about this, the best place to go is to go on the ADA, I'm sorry, not the ADA, the ADA.org website. Uh, I would type in N I N. BDE, which is the Integrated National Board Dental Examination, and it goes over uh, the actual plan. So I, that's what I would uh, type in. So I'm just going to read some of the, the key quick facts. Quick facts. Again, you can find these on the website. Um, I might even be able to pull them up here. I don't know if I'm be able to pull them up so you guys can see. But nonetheless, let's see. Let's let's try to share. I'm going to try to share my screen so you guys can kind of see. Uh, what what you got, what I'm talking about here, okay? So this is the website. You're going to go right here, and it talks about the timeline, all right? And these are all the timelines that you see here that are part of the, um, part of the, the process that has gone on, that, that has gone on for the last almost 10 years, since 2009. All right. Um, so you can see the information about that. You can see there's a, a link for frequently asked questions. All right. What is it? What's the purpose? When will it be launched? You can see that here. The history. When, when will it be offered? What's the fee? All of that. All right. So feel free again. Feel free to um, to go ahead and, and, and get on the website to get some more details. So what I'm gonna be talking about is the quick facts. Quick facts, excuse me, it's quick facts. So <coughs> the board examination is gonna be changed. All right, it's gonna be changed from the national board exam, dental board examination to the integrated. And that's the I, the integrated, all right? It'll be first available August 1st, 2020. August 1st, 2020. And then the current National Board Part 1 and Part 2 are going to be dis discontinued on July 31st, 2020. All right, so Part 1, Part 2 are going to be discontinued in July 31st, the day before, and then August 1st, 2020, People will be taking the new integrated board. Um, you know, the it's it's designed to evaluate the dental candidates' cognitive skills based on 
the Joint Commission's domain of dentistry. All right. So they even have some sample. They got some sample questions that you can see um, that are available online. And it's going to be, uh, let's see, eligibility, administration. So let's talk about the administration, the administration of the exam. The exam is going to be 500 questions, 500 questions. It's going to take a day and a half to the minister. Um, and most of the administrations are going to be located in testing centers all around the country, just like uh, most of them are right now. Also, they're going to be in U.S. and Canada, like I said. Uh, and it's going to be, there's actually going to be a candidate guide, an integrated national dental board exam candidate guide that's going to be available December 2019. So be on the lookout for that. You should be able to get access to that. Um, and it'll tell you um, a little bit more in the guide. It'll tell you what, what the price is going to be. Right now, there's no fee associated with it. There is no uh, cost. Uh, well, I, well, let me back up. There is a cost associated with it. They just haven't set uh, the fee as of right now. Um, there's some more information about the, re uh, the results that are going to be posted. And um, in case, you know, you have to remake it, I mean, retake it. So they have a policy here for retaking the, um, the examination. And uh, I just wanted to hit that uh, again. Just like it is currently right now for the current national board exam, if you have to retake the exam, still 90 days, still have to do 90 days before you have, uh, you have to wait 90 days before you can do it again. Um, each of the dental boards, of course, are going to look at the examinations uh, like they do now as a requirement, but each dental board has specific requirements uh, and acceptability of this new integrated board. So, um, you have to make sure that you're in tune with your state dental board that you're applying to. Again, um, this whole development of this new exam started back in 2009 uh, with a committee that was put together. <coughs> and they've got some validity and some technical information and reports as to how they put the questions together, uh, what their basis for that. So that's going to be coming up in the upper in the um, next couple of months. And um, if you do have some questions, um, you can always contact the Joint Commission of the National Dental Examinations, and they can be reached at NB, B as in boy, E, X, A, M, X, at ADA.org. National Board Exams, N, B, E, X, A, M, S, at ADA. Dot org. So look, guys, this is the timetable that's that's uh, being implemented. You can kind of see the start right in 19 when they are actually going to um, get make the uh, announcement plan here. We, this is the time you're going to be getting the guide. And as you see, going forward, I'm sorry, this is 16, 17, 18, 19. December 19, you have the guide, and then they're going to start phasing it out. They're going to start phasing it out July 31st all the way through to July, uh, August 1st is going to be the, um, uh, the first implementation, and then they're going to discontinue part two, part two of the National Board in July 31st, 2022. So this is just, again, you can find this uh, implementation plan on the website. Again, big, big announcement, guys. Big announcement. It's going to change how people are preparing for the dental exam, and it's going to change how schools prepare students for the dental exam, because now it's just one exam. That's why they're calling it integrated. Part one and part two are coming together as an inter integrated exam. My question is, and I have to do some more research, and you can too, is at what point in your dental training, in your pre-doctoral training, will you typically take this exam? You know, right now, a lot of the uh, D1s that are going into their D2 year are taking part one of the exam, and then usually uh, most people will take part two 
in between their third and fourth year, if not sometime during the, the fourth year. So the question for me and for us to find out is when, since they're merging part one and part two and putting them together, when is going to be the best time to take that exam? Is it going to be after a second year? Is it going to be after third year? Is it going to be between, is it going to be between second and third year at some point? Uh, so it'd be interesting to, to, to look through the exam questions and see uh, what topics are being covered so that you know, uh, schools know, students know, faculty know, uh, when it's going to be the best time to do that. So I hope that information and this announcement has helped you. Uh, again, if you want to have get some more information, go on to the ADA.org website and uh, punch in Joint Commission on National Dental Examinations, and you can put in the Integrated Dental Board or Integrated National Dental Board Examination, and you'll, they'll take you right to the link, and there's a whole series of information that's going to be really helpful to you. Hey, that's my time. This is Dr. Darwin, new dentist coach. If you guys have questions or want to uh, 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 hire me for your coach to help you, to mentor you, you can always send me an email at newdentistcoach at gmail.com. Subject line, coach me. If you guys also be, be sure to tune in for these videos that I uh, put out every week, every week, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and guess what? Even Saturdays, yes, all throughout the week. So be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you're notified every time we drop another episode. All right. Hey, good talking to you. Hope today's tip and information helped. This is This Week in Dentistry with Dr. Darwin. Take care.